Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back uh, to the monthly news for December. Uh, believe it or not, it's been a long month. I didn't ex actually expect for this month uh, actually so much to happen and so much to change. And as I looked out on the YouTube website, I noticed something that they're doing YouTube Rewind, which I've never seen before. I'm sure it's been a thing that's been going on forever, but you know, it's my first time trying to do YouTube uh, part-time, so I, I, it's the first time I ever noticed it. So I figured instead of the regular monthly news for December, I'd do my own sort of YouTube Rewind thing, since uh, you know I'll never be on there, so I'll do one for me. Um, I just wanted to go over some of the channel uh, updates and some of the stuff that I've done basically all throughout the year ever since I started doing YouTube uh, like ever since I started posting a video either once a day or every other day or as often as possible so without further ado I have the screen recorder on and let's see yeah it's it's still running thank goodness so let's uh, let's go over some of the things I just wanted to go over some of the things that I did this year and sort of talk about you know each each little episode a little bit not too much in detail you know that'd be crazy but I first started out with like also uh, one one bit of update when I first actually made the channel it was under like flashback games a whole totally different name um, which I wanted to clarify on that just to just to talk about it hopefully someday that you know it'll help things out but there's a lot of distractions around and everything. But um, when I first made the channel, it was under Flashback Games. Under, I think it was 2013. It was way back in the day. And I just didn't know how to post videos. I didn't know how to edit, record, all that good stuff. I didn't really have the good technology to do it. And I didn't have a, a job yet to... Wait, didn't I? Hold on, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I had a job. So I had a job already. I could have... I, but I didn't have the money saved up to really buy decent equipment. I was still too busy trying to pay bills and trying to get money saved up. And it's about time for a shave. <laughs> but um, basically, I started out with like the Legend of Korra series. I know it says um, four months ago, four months ago was stuff like Let's Play Air Max Striker, um, let's see, um, Besieger. Like, I can't go 11 months ago to a year ago, all the way back to Besieger, like episode 5 and 6, and then started playing Morrowind. And Besieger was, it was really fun to play, and I was sad because um, when I upgraded to Windows 8, it no longer, it wouldn't work on, a, on any computer that I wanted to record it on anymore. The last computer that would actually run Besieger um, and actually play it at all, Believe it or not, these videos, the first like year of running on nothing but Besieger and Fate, um, which is nothing, nothing at all. I had no idea that that the 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 level of necessary effort to really get somewhere was so high. That first year was all of that was recorded with an old. Um, uh, I bought in two. Uh, let's see. Me and my mom got it uh, with some of our money combined together in like 2008 or 2009 and about two or three years later I started recording and it was an old compact Presario Windows XP with only 512 megabytes of RAM. <laughs> Not even a whole gig. Now like I think 6 gigs of the standard and 8 gigs is the high and last year it was 4 gigs is the standard. and. Six is the high. Now it's 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 a nightmare. So, um, and believe it or not, now that I've actually been through a little bit of recording and everything, and that there's been a little bit of history behind the channel, just the teeny tiniest little bit, I'm trying to be you know humble because I'm nowhere. I've still got so much further to go, but it's a good thing because that means that the channel and me as a creator can keep updating and evolving, and I can find new ways to record videos that are live action, funny skits, little experiments and things. Uh, I also want to try building those little do-it-yourself. Uh, I think I mentioned this once before, but I also want to try building those little do-it-yourself robot kits from um, Hobby Lobby. It's the 
They're the solar panel robots, ones that you can make from recycled goods like tin cans or or little pieces of or little plastics like CDs and things. You put those little um, like recyclables together along with these little robotic parts and solar panels and it actually makes little DIY projects. They're mostly for kids but I, I like building them because they're little mechanics and tiny robots and they just remind me of the good old days with Legos and Kinects and stuff. I used to like to build that stuff too. But yeah, now that it's actually been a while I can go ahead and reveal uh, go ahead and reveal during that very first episode of Legend of Korra 01, the bending tournament, I played through the entire tournament and actually stopped right after it, but I was drunk during that episode. <laughs> I was actually drunk. It was actually, it was, either, if, it was after a bad breakup where it sort of changed my life and I became, I don't know, I, won't, I don't want to say I became a different person or anything. I'm still the same dude, but I started trying to focus more on what made me happy. Uh, for the sake of just being happy, for the sake of just doing something that I felt was meaningful with my life, something that my you know dad could be proud of if if he, if he was still around, because I like my job you know with Walmart and everything, but I don't plan on ever moving up into upper management, and I already failed the management placement task test uh, because I don't like to delegate tasks to other people. I like to do it myself. I'm not a, I'm not a micromanager of people, so I, I wouldn't make it in management. So I decided that, you know, if I can take control of anything, it might just be my own channel, my own way of doing things. I started making Legend of Korra. Did about four or five episodes of that, and <laughs> this is the terrible screenshot in bloops, the first of many. I just auto uploaded it, and it picked its own segment of the video to record, and that blue line that you see is actually text that's about to come across the screen and I just didn't change it but I hate the fact that it makes me look like I have no eyebrows <laughs> like dude brah you need to stop everything you're doing and go get you some eyebrows <laughs> it was terrible and these episodes like this one back here was actually the only episode that I ever recorded where I still had my ponytail I still had the long ponytail. But of course, again, the channel's come a long way, and I've come a long way as a creator, because if you look closely, you'll notice that I didn't even know how to get the screen cam into the shot. Like, I'm way down here. <laughs> and I didn't know how to check the face cam to make sure that it was still recording properly. Like, I had no idea. But I'll have to try to shorten it up, because I think I'm running low on battery life and I'm probably boring you to tears but I did the whole Legend of Korra thing and I played it like for almost 14 days straight like one two like uh, the last 12 episodes were just straight because the only thing in there was the bloops episode that just came about but I basically recorded it all in one sitting and just beat the game I wish they were all that easy because I'm stuck like Chuck on uh, Metaton right now <clears throat> And with trying to do stuff on fate. Let's see, then after that, the whole first vlog came in, which was basically my first channel update news. Uh, but I didn't know what to call it that, so I just sort of talked about some of the stuff that I was recording, some of the stuff I had planned on recording. Then I started into Shadowverse with a little bit of Heart and Slash. Those two series didn't work out too well because I still wasn't really adept at recording. And I wasn't really sure how to technically... I think what messed up Shadowverse more than anything was the fact that eventually the gameplay became so difficult that I started replaying the same matches over and over and over again trying to win. But I figured if I ever brought that series back, if it was ever back on request, what I would do is I would play the NPC opponent once, and if they beat me, I would, you know, just leave that recording in and then cut to the part where I win, you know, try again and then resume the recording right before the match win or say even better um, if they win I say well and so and so beat me and that was so and so's deck so now you've seen it then I would off recording beat them on my own time and then just skip to the cutscene after like okay well so and so win that's their deck 
I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty fun card match. And then cut. And then, okay, I beat her on my own time. And this is what happens afterwards. Because I wanted it to play like a CCG slash visual novel. Because I noticed that a lot of other creators that I didn't necessarily want to copy straight out. Um, so I don't play CCG visual novels. Uh, any yet. I may someday, but not any yet. I wanted to sort of run it like that, where it was a CC, like a card-based game, a card, collector's card game, and you see it played through like Shadowverse, or, well, it is Shadowverse, uh, what's the other one, Hearthstone, or Magic the Gathering, you know, you see the cards, you see the special effects, you see all the cool stuff happening, and then there's a little bit of background, a little bit of story to let you know what's all about the characters. So I wanted to sort of run it like that, but it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. It wasn't very popular. Uh, one friend even was so honest as to tell me that he couldn't stand seeing me play it. <laughs> so, it just goes to show you, if you ever want to make a channel yourself, you know it doesn't always work out. <laughs> even your favorite games or videos or whatever it is you do. And um, there's the first video. Right after I started um, uh, uh, bleh, Undertale. Sorry, I just had coffee now. I've got the jitters. But, uh, there's the first video right after Undertale that I started actually calling the news for September it was. So I started doing those and these all look really nice screenshots, at least to me. You know, they've got you're not supposed to include your face cam in the screenshot, but you know, I don't I, I have a, a, an actual full time job, so I mean now I know how to do it, to cut and copy and paste my whole body out into a frame and put it into a screenshot but what I would have to do to um, uh, what was it what I would have to do to maximize that time or to utilize that time wisely and this will this will never be out by six o'clock it's five o'clock already just to let you know <laughs> it'll never be quick enough but I already know how to now I finally know how to and I've learned so much I've learned how to use the camera I've learned how to use the mic I've learned how to use the recorder I've learned how to use the editing software but none of it's perfect and it'll never be perfect probably but that's okay because that means there's always room for changes and improvements now I know how to actually cut and crop my image out or the image of any objects that I want to put uh, place picture in picture and actually place myself into the frame uh, not using a green screen I tried to use a nice neutral background like the walls here. Um, in order to uh, speed up that process, what I would need to do is just basically uh, do like a photo shoot day where I do photo shoots of different um, expressions or motions that I can use with different videos to actually place myself in the thumbnail without including, you know, my uh, face cam, which is supposed to be taboo. You're not supposed to put face cam in there. But, you know, it was either that or just leave it as a blank image um, from just the game. And I didn't really want to do that. So later on when I started using TubeBuddy in Canva Studio, I started using the nice white backgrounds with the text. Always added my watermark name and their face cam to sort of give it a brand name. Try to establish a brand, which is what I've been reading about, establish a brand. Then right after that, me and um, Brandon, my friend or Sanson Man on PlayStation 4, started with the Ark and Friends 02, and by that time, Ark had already been played absolutely to death on YouTube for like over a year, maybe two years. I mean, it is, it is just beat into the ground. Um, with that series, I'd love to do it. Like if Brandon still wants to play it, and he still wants to you know do stuff on there or if anybody wants to play on me I'll run that server and play the game and upload it to the channel it's just um there's there's no way it's gonna get a lot of views as you can see two months ago two views two <laughs> two and one of them was probably me <laughs> both of them were probably me <laughs> there's just no way to get um unless I did hundreds of episodes and made hundreds of tags for it and advertised it and had a friend that was really good with it unless I got really far in the game unless I did so much there's no way to really get priority in the YouTube's analytics search engines for that game uh, not me I'm not I'm not special like that I'd never I'd never get that but that's okay um, then we did more Undertale and 
I actually went back to Fate a long time ago with lots of bats because I actually got a subscriber from it where they said this was a good throwback series. I really enjoyed it. I hope to see more episodes of it in the future. And, you know, just to give him some credit, uh, I, I held true to my word. Somebody requested a series, and I brought it back, and I'm still doing Fate. Um, I still want to try to, um, like, do those last couple of quests on camera, and then after that, I would like to actually, you know, do some off-screen grinding, and then just catch up with the audience when I'm on level... 20 something and then 30 something and then 40 something and then 50 something and so on and so on just every 10 levels where I feel I have something new to contribute like oh I got a new spell or look at my new armor and a new transformation for my pet <clears throat> because in reality fate's a very grindy game it's a dungeon crawler RPG you're gonna grind on it constantly and I'd be doing 10 or 15 episodes of just the same battles over and over and over again so, you know, I just wanted to catch up later on when there was something to contribute. And this, then I started doing, let's see, lightweight semifinals. So, I had already done part of the Robot Arena Tournament too. The very beginning of it was right here, the lightweight preliminary rounds. We did the preliminary rounds, the semifinals, and then the finals, and then the middleweights. Mm, excuse me. Um, the... Uh, lightweight preliminaries, preliminaries round two, semifinals, and then mm, finals. Now the coffee gave me hiccups, of course. Uh, but it, it, it's been really fun, especially with the Robot Arena tournaments. As far as I'm aware, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I want to do, I want Robot Arena to always be uh, a good part of the channel. I always want that to be a good thing to actually do because uh, that was one of my original reasons for wanting to start a YouTube channel was to make my Robot Arena videos as close to BattleBots as humanly possible. You know, someday I might get a, I like, if I can, I know green screen is, you know, you put the green screen up and you use the uh, chroma key controls behind you uh, or on the, during the video editing process and I've been looking into that a lot lately for chroma key. And I mean, someday I wanted to go the whole nine yards with the mic, uh, and a nice either button-up uh, shirt or suit and be like, you know, the actual announcer from BattleBots, you know, um, these robots have come from all across the world and then show clips of the robots, bring them in and uh, have stats and actual like, um, have stats and facts on them like so-and-so's weapon is this, so-and-so's weight is this, special abilities, weaknesses, strengths, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so that's always been really fun, and, um, and even part of the video, even part of the channel, a big part of the channel, even a big part of the channel, aside from the videos itself, have, has been learning how to make at least mediocre screenshots, because these aren't even the good ones, I've seen the good ones, but I don't make millions of dollars and this isn't my full-time job, so I don't have the time to make the good screenshots. But these are about mediocre, and I use Canva Studio and YouTube Buddies uh, free, like the unpaid for version uh, templates, as uh, as often and as well to my abilities as possible. And I guess I'm wearing the headphones just because, because there's nothing playing in the background. And I'm sorry if you're bored to tears. I just keep going over and over the vid same videos again, but I just love them so much. Um, I gotta try to wrap this up. Then we did, uh, we went through Channel News October, we started the Robot Arena Tournament. Now, this is only like a one-off, but it doesn't have to be a one-off, and I don't want it to be a one-off forever. I'm definitely going to bring this back. World's Worst Truck Driver, American Truck Simulator. I loved that series. I put on the cap, I had the shirt, and I still got the cap and shirt. And I showed my buddy from work, uh, Jeff, and he loves it. He loves the series. A lot of people liked it. It was, it was really fun. It was super fun to do. I want to bring it back and show all the updates from like, you know, this is, like I want to bring it back and show me getting a new truck, a new garage, you know, upgrading my stuff, because I started out with all the basic stuff and I'm still on the basic stuff. And <laughs> I even named my original character Dream Daddy because that was the game that everybody was playing on YouTube at the time. And I, I try, I'm trying not to follow the crowd because number one, I know that 
I won't get priority in search engines above them at all, ever. Uh, not for years, or if I ever do, I'll never get priority over them, because you know they have millions of subscribers, and I just can't com compete with that. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't try. It's okay. So you know you gotta go out and do different things. You gotta try to be original. I can't just follow uh, follow the crowd, because I would get buried in a list of things. Because it was uh, first, it was Honey Pop. Everybody was playing that. Then came Dream Daddy. Everybody was playing that. Um, then came a little bit of Slime Rancher, a few people played that, that got big for a while. Uh, what else came after that? I think I, I skipped one or two, but I remember uh, Cuphead started coming around, that got pretty big. Uh, uh, and obviously I have my own playthrough of, um, what do you call it, Undertale. Obviously, you know, that's another one that I can't, I'll never get priority in the search engines for that. And I keep looking at the freaking viewfinder instead of the actual lens. As far as Undertale, I know I'll never get priority in the search engines for that, but that one was actually a request from Skylar. He wanted to see me play it, and I'm still trying to get through it so that we can do the... I think he said he wanted to do the uh, genocide storyline either together or just at the same time. I'm not sure. And then I started Pokemon Insurgents, which is going to be a full playthrough. I want to do the full storyline. But I stopped it because I'm trying so hard to get through Undertale. But I might go back and do... Yeah, I think I'm going to go back and do a few episodes to break up the monotony from uh, Undertale at least a little bit. Because I either have to find a way to grind or find a way to like look up how to... Not cheat, but how to get, how to get food items for the Metaton fight. Because eating junk food is not going to work. If you've seen the Undertale playthrough... Um, eating eating the junk food as your healing item actually decreases your uh, audience retention in the um, in the fight. And if there's one thing I know, <laughs> it's losing the audience. <laughs> it's terrible. But um, I, I and then I started. Um, oh, this was fun. I loved doing this. The uh, one of my favorite videos. A lot of my favorite videos are original ones that just don't involve necessarily the gameplay itself, but a gimmick that I put on it, like something I do live action or something that I make. I made a whole little mini Halloween setup and did the um, Halloween uh, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 park. I did a whole park about it, and I actually had the episode where you go on all the rides. Um, commentated on by a little plush stuffed uh, Dracula plushie. It was a little history for that plushie. It's the like way back in 2001 or 2002 I was still in high school. It is the only and I mean the only plushie, the only prize that I have ever won from a prize grabber in my life. Mm, I've been talking for a while. Oh, but it's the only prize that I have ever won from a prize grabber machine. I guess it was it had to be during a Halloween. Then I started doing uh, uh, the Art of War by Sun Tzu, a little bit of history behind that. Um, I started that at the wrong time. I started it like at the beginning of fall and now it's winter so it's like 40 degrees outside. <laughs> And the whole theme of the playlist is supposed to be that I go outside and read. I can't. I mean, I could go outside in a coat. <laughs> but screw that. I, I'm just, I want to bring that series back during either, you know, a few good days during the winter when it's not that cold out, which, you know, good luck with that. Or sometime in just, let's see, January, February, March. It starts getting warmer in March. Maybe in March, like spring. Uh, so that's going to be a while. <laughs> but I do, and I, it's not just The Art of War by Sun Tzu. I also have a book uh, called The Tao of Jeet Kune Do by Bruce Lee that I also want to read. Um, the main thing that I want to do, the idea for that whole series, um, was to make a playlist called Mother Nature Plus a Good Book. To go outside to a park somewhere and read a book either about, read an educational book about martial arts or strategy or, or, um, or even if it's fiction, something, something like mythical, deep uh, and presentable, you know, not just like a, I mean, just something, something good, like a good book. 
oh, excuse me. And then I started, uh, let's see, doing Strike Vector EX was super fun. Uh, I still want to do some more episodes on that. I think I'm like up on four. Oh God, only three minutes left. God, I, I have been drawing on. We're not even, we're only halfway through. I started doing Strike Vector EX, so I started doing stuff on the PS4 a little bit more. Uh, we started, we kept going with the Robot Arena 2 tournament, I kept going with the Undertale stuff. This is net neutrality. The first ever, uh, and, and you know, it doesn't mean Jack Diddley now, but someday when I look back on these years later, this is actually going to mean, some, mean something. First of all, there's actually um, at, least three fir at least two firsts in this video. I think maybe three. Number one first was, it's the first, um, it's the first time I ever, tr oh sorry, it's the first time I ever tried to do a video on a trending topic. Net neutrality was trending. Only one or two major people that I know of beat me to it before, but I even did my video before PewDiePie, which doesn't mean Jack Diddley because nobody cares about me compared to him, but that's okay. Um, it was the first time I ever tried to do a video on a trending topic. It was the first time I ever, ever tried to do a video on a political topic, which it's a good thing I just stick, it's a good thing that I just stuck to the definition of net neutrality because as far as my channel goes, my platform isn't big enough and I don't know enough and I'm not a big enough person, important enough to actually go and do videos on political topics. I'm just going to keep completely out of that because, you know, I, I, like, I don't have the audacity to even bring myself into stuff like that. I just wanted to do a definition and try to understand it myself and show that, you know, I was up with the times. I know what's going on with the whole net neutrality thing and I'm worried about it too. That was, and plus, um, Markiplier asked for like, you know, spread the word, do your part, and try to, you know, do, he just wanted people to go and, and vote to their senators, and I contacted my senator through um, ResistBot, which was an app that you could use at the time to try to tell them that you didn't want, you know, try to tell them that you do or don't want them to vote for or against a certain law, and the system pretty much auto-updates it for you, and... My camera is about to power down in about 45 seconds, so um, I'm just going to let it power down and then go to uh, another video, I guess. Um, but yeah, because we're not done yet, I still got to keep going. Um, the third and final first was this was also the very first video where I learned how to crop out my image directly without using the face cam and put my image or the image of an object cropped directly onto the thumbnail, which um, there's, it can be done a lot better. This is basically garbage, but I was very proud of it at the time. And it's been a fun year, so this is, woo, year of YouTube, basically. Even though the channel was started in 2013, I kind of wish I could, you know, redo that uh, and go back and, like, not have the channel look uh, look like 2013, or I wanted it to look like 2017, you know, but I don't want to make a brand new channel, I might as well just try to resurrect this one, I guess. Uh, so this is a year on YouTube. Um, it's December now, and but see, it's only been like four or five months that I've actually been uploading consistently, so it hasn't been, but this has been the year of 2017. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more and and take it easy my friend